And by the way, we love this picture of Principal Hummingbird because he has the tiniest little purse that anybody has ever had. <laughs> and our horse, the horse has a unicorn headband. <laughs> the horse dreams big of being a unicorn. Yes. That is very big. His voice was strong and striking. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Decide. Sorry, that's not Because when I sang for my class, I got really big and loud and things changed. You, you want me to hold it?
but sometimes I wasn't sure when I should just really sing really loud and let everyone hear me. I wasn't sure if I should call attention to myself, if that was okay. I wasn't sure how much space and time, volume to take up in the world, you know? And um, so I thought about that a lot and I wanted to talk about that feeling that can be kind of complicated because when you really want people to see you and hear you, it can also be a little scary when people see you and hear you. So that's called being vulnerable and I think that's kind of what the book is about. Yeah, so how we came up with the book was we actually had a lot, a lot, a lot of conversations. We had to talk a lot. And actually at the time we spent a lot of time talking on the phone we did? Oh, it was on the phone? Oh, right. And then the pandemic hit, and then we were in the same room, which was fun. That was a silver lining for that, because we got, we hung out the whole time. But um, what were we going to say about that, about the, uh, oh, and then, uh, so Kara is a, a teacher and an author, a writer herself, and she, um, without her because she knows children's books and literature way better than I do. She knows inside out. She works with kids on how to read all the time. And I know that if you say the word but <laughs> in the middle of the classroom, it goes over really well. <laughs> yes? Well, I take a lot of lessons and I work really hard and I rehearse a lot and I have a teacher that I've been working with for like 30 years and I still take lessons from her and I practice and I warm up every morning and I breathe and um, mostly though I practice. And then I have people in my life like my sister and my son and my husband and my rest of my family and friends that really support me and even though it's really loud sometimes, they say it's okay. <laughs> but can I tell you one other thing? Sorry, I was just gonna say, could you imagine just all day long as the background of your day having it's the men's outside? Even the warm-ups in the shower are pretty amazing. <laughs> or they could be very annoying. Do you have a, a sister, a brother or sister? I have a sister. Younger or older? Younger. Younger? Yeah. So do you think your young, does your younger sister find you a little bossy sometimes? Maybe. Well, I, I think my sister Kara found me a little bossy and a little loud sometimes. But I just wanted to say that even though I sing really loud, sometimes I don't feel loud in my heart. And sometimes if you met me on a day when I'm not up here on the stage, sometimes I'm not very loud at all. I have to even, I, I have to find my inner voice. And even though I sing loud notes as a singer, in my real life, I have to find that voice and I have to tell it to be louder because sometimes I feel kind of sad. Yes? Um, I like your songs, and, but my favorite song is the cake one. <laughs> The cake, and the song called Cake? <laughs> oh, yes. Now, thank you. That is a very hard rock funk song. Thank you, Mom. It's an original song from a mom to thank for that, probably? No, mom. Her mom to thank, yes. Mom, if you're listening to that song that I wrote about my husband and it's not a children's book. <laughs> but it has a good beat. Good melody. And we'll save that for another another day. That's so funny. That oh, thank you for telling me that. I'm very proud of that song too. What is your name? Sophie. Chelsea. Sophie. 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 Okay, thanks, Sophie. Yeah. My son is funny. He likes that song too. Because I wrote a really um, sad song for my son, which is all about uh, divorce, and he always goes. Well, you wrote that sexy song for Aaron, and you wrote that sad song for me. <laughs> That's one of the songs that we, um, that me and my mom heard, um, in our hotel. You listen to it in your hotel, huh? Mm -hmm. Cool. Mom, right, just being out of left and right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very flattered, Sophie. I like 
think that's enough too. Okay, any other questions? Yeah? What made you want to write this story? What made me want to write this story? Uh, because I wanted to express the way I felt when I was your age. I had a lot of complicated feelings about um, the thing that I felt so passionate about. Do you, what makes you feel like your best, best self? What's something you do when you do it? You just feel so good and free inside. Art. Art? What kind of art? All kinds? Painting, drawing? Yeah, what's your favorite piece that you worked on recently that you're proud of? Flowers. Oh, it has flowers. Is it watercolor? Is it drawing? Is it charcoal? What's... Colored pencils. Colored pencils? Oh, I wish I could see it somewhere. Will you take a picture and send it to me? Sure. Okay. So what is it about that that makes you feel... What do you feel when you're, when you're drawing with the colored pencils? I feel really happy. You feel happy, yeah. And does a lot of stuff in your day just go away and you can just focus on what you're doing? Yeah, that feels so good. That's how I feel when I sing. It's like all the other things in life go away and I feel like I'm closest and most true to who I am. So I wanted to talk and express and write about that feeling. And I wanted to do it with my sister because she's the coolest. <laughs> feel the most like myself when I'm writing, oddly enough. <laughs> sure. Uh, what's your favorite genre to work with? Musically or writing? I think it's the mouse and rodent genre. <laughs> <laughs> We are second on the list of best books about men. Mice and rodents. <laughs> I think this whole Barnes and Noble thing will push us right to the top. <laughs> um, what favorite genre? Musically, for me, is so many things. Obviously, it's all the music that I sing in theater when I'm with my cast and I'm performing a new show. But then it's pop music and soul music. It's jazz. It's all kinds. Of what about you, Kara? Oh, that's not a good question for me. <laughs> um, musically? What's my no, name? not musically. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm, I'm, I love the big chill soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> no, writing genres. You write memoirs, now you write a children's book. I love, it all, I love it all, and it's all difficult in different ways. So children's book is really difficult to write because there's a limited number of words and you want to make sure that each one is the best possible word for that moment in the book. And also it's very hard to keep a fresh mind because you've looked at the same sentences over and over and over again. Yeah. And then like memoir is really difficult because you have to figure out how to organize all these thoughts and feelings and experiences. What was our favorite memory while writing this book? <laughs> That's a good one. We have a couple. I had a lot of memories of getting ready together in the bathroom mirror because of that original picture. You know, like 80s and 90s memories of us doing our hair together. Um, a lot of hair memories for me. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fashion. We went back to some old pictures of us and gave them to the illustrator, and so we had to go back and look at really bad pictures of ourselves. Um, but one of my favorite memories was when we, we wrote the book, but we still had to sell it to publishers and get someone to support it. And it was during the pandemic, so nobody was meeting in person. So we had to put together kind of a little um, film of the two of us talking about our ideas, what our inspirations were, the book, um, other books and literature that we love, about our relationships, so that these people would really understand where we're coming from. And um, when we try to put ourselves on film talking about ourselves, we often have, we have a lot of bloopers. And there's, um, there was one line that I thought was gonna be so funny, because we say, hi, I'm Adina Menzel. I'm Karen Menzel. Uh, she's smarter, she's cooler. 
it. And, and I kept saying, stop saying it like that. <laughs> and suddenly I remember just how bossy she was. <laughs> And all of a sudden, this book about allowing someone to have their big voice and be who they were, and the little loud mouse was not letting her sister have her own voice. <laughs> That's my movie. <laughs> okay, we have time for about two more questions. Um, how do you, are you a voice of, like, Elsa? <laughs> that is a good one. I am not. <laughs>
read a book with children and their parents and it's just all come to fruition and um, this is a really special day for us so thank you. <laughs> Not 